Dustin here at eTrailer.com. Today we've got the Thule Apex XT. This is a four bike rack, but you can also pick it up as a two bike rack or a five bike rack, depending on the size of your family. Now what Thule's done on the Apex XT is it greatly increased the spacing between bikes. That's true for the two and the four bike versions. The five bike, they're a little closer together. You're still gonna be able to get five bikes on there. But it's gonna be much easier to get bikes on with the two and four bike versions. Just like most hanging style bike racks, it secures your bike in place via the top tube. Thule's included some ratchet straps that easily feed out or can be secured down. Just push in a, on this tab to pull them out. It secures it in three places. We've got two on the top tube. We've got a third one here along the seat post. That's our anti-sway cradle. What that's going to do is prevent bike to bike and bike to vehicle contact by keeping the bike from going too far left to right. The bike sits in place on its frame. You just slide the arms through to remove or place on your bike. With the bike removed, I can show you some additional features. Our cradles here feature rubber padding to help protect your bike. They also have grooves in them. This is to accommodate any brake lines or cables you may have running along your bike. They're also adjustable up and down to accommodate different bike sizes and frames. Now you have added some length to the rear of your Acadia from our bumper out to the end of our rack. We've added about 41 inches. Just keep that in mind if you're pulling into a parking spot or into your garage. Thule has built in an accommodation for those situations. You can lift up on this. You're actually going to save some space that way. So you can get into those tighter spots with no bikes in place. And here you've only added just over 10 inches. So it'll save you some space. Now that ground clearance here at the bottom is going to be the same regardless of what position you have it in. Looks like our lowest point is going to be right about here, about 17 and a half inches to this metal point right here. That's going to be important when you're pulling into a steep driveway or backing over a lower obstacle here just to keep in mind so you don't run into anything. The Apex also has an integrated cable lock when you've got all your bikes in place. You can run it over the top secure it in here and lock it down. What that's gonna do is prevent anyone from walking off with your bikes when you're not hanging around your vehicle. The Apex does have one more trick up her sleeves. There's a lever back here. Pulling that allows it to tilt away from your Acadia, giving you full access to your rear hatch so you can get out anything you might have with you on your trip, whether that's your pets, any food, groceries, gear, anything you need access to. Then once you've retrieved your items, it's just as easy as lifting up and pushing the mast back into place. The Apex XT is going to work with either inch and a quarter or two inch hitches, so you can have either one installed on your Acadia. There is no hitch pin involved. It uses a pin right here that just secures into the hole. And additionally, there is a lock. This locking mechanism rotates and forces out securing the lock into the receiver. When you've got it secure, you can lock it and it'll spin freely, preventing anyone from loosening it and removing it from your hitch. Thanks for hanging out with us a bit and checking out the Thule Apex XT on our 2010 GMC Acadia.